Hey everybody, Chad from Patriot Astro with a very quick video. I'm gonna stick in my Arc Minute series here because it's gonna be so short. I've had a number of people ask me if they move to 1.11 of Nina, the nightly version, how do they maintain it? How do they keep it up to date? And I'm gonna show you how to do that very, very easily in this video. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to update plugins as plugin updates become available. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Like the video, leave comments if you have questions and share with others, clear skies. All right, let's jump right in. So if you are in Nina 1.11, in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the current release you're running. Right now I'm running 104. So I have an updated in a couple releases. And if I go over to the right-hand side of Nina, you'll see the currently available version is 109. So uh, whenever one of these updates are available, you wanna take the time to do this. And to do it, just simply click on that link in the upper right-hand corner. It'll give you the option here to uh, read the information about the update, but just simply click the download button and it will begin to download for you. Now this download usually happens pretty quickly. Um, if it stalls, just close it out and then click download again and you'll be fine. Once the download completes, we'll have an update button. We just click update to proceed. When the update starts, we'll have to agree to the terms and conditions and then click install. At this point, Windows will prompt us if we want to continue, we'll click yes. And I've sped up this install here. It really does not typically take too long to get through the installation. When the installation completes, you'll have a launch or close button. Typically I'll click launch because I want Nina to start. Nina will start up here. And as soon as it's running, we'll be able to look in the upper left-hand corner and verify that, yep, we're running 109, which is the latest version. Now, we also have plugins in 1.11, and plugins also require updates. So if you're running plugins, check for the latest updates. Um, they have a separate update cycle, so we'll click updates. And then if you look at the available updates, we'll see a couple icons. So for the ones you have installed that are up to date, we'll have a check mark like we do here on Darks Customs. That's the offset plugin. And for the three-point polar alignment update, notice we have a different icon. That means there is an update available and that we do want to do this update. You even have the option in the bottom left-hand corner to manually check for updates if you ever feel it's needed. Now, when you need an update, you can go in the upper right-hand corner of the plugin that requires the update and just click the update button. You'll see that progress. And once it's ready, it'll tell you that a restart is required. So we'll simply close Nina and then open it up again. And once it finishes opening, we will see that we're running the latest version and within plugins, everything says they are currently up to date and we're ready to go. And we can see if we click on our plugins that we're updated. Uh, the plugin still says it's installed, doesn't say it requires an update. And that's it. We are ready to roll. So at this point now, we're going to do the same thing on any subsequent evening. We're going to start Nina. We're going to see if it needs an update. If it does, we're going to do it. The nightly should always be maintained as up to date as possible to incorporate any bug fixes that may be required. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully any of you that are moving over to 1.11 feel a little more confident that you can maintain it and keep it up to date.